Let's talk about line filters real quick. And you know, they can be a bit confusing because they can look a whole lot like a transformer. And a lot of people confuse them to be a transformer. And that's okay because, well, they, res they do resemble it in so many ways, but it's important to understand that they're, they're not. That's not what they are at all. And what they have is actually three independent legs that they're passing through through a solid steel core. Well, but then that kind of sound like a transformer. I'll show you that graphic again in a minute and we'll explain why that's not the case. But what you can see here in this example is each of these is an independent power leg feeding through after the filter. And then in the filter itself, what we have is we have an input feed coming from our, say our disconnect. We have an output going to, let's say our VFD in this example. And that's gonna flow through this coil of wires that's wrapped around a solid steel core. Now our goal is not to induce voltage here. Our goal is to take basically like a static noise out of the electrical circuit. So that's part of what happens with line filters is the grid itself could have a lot of say static noise or just electrical noise inside of the uh, the sine wave and the currents which can negatively impact say a VFD especially that are very sensitive to these things and their ability to properly perform and function and just longevity. So the goal of this is to pass that current through the or around these steel cores to take in that extra noise and to produce a more clean signal coming out. And say between T1 and T2, there is no electrical connection. In between T2 and T3, there's no connection. And typically, even going from T1 to T4, you're going to see about zero ohms in most cases. They're not meant to be a load on the system. They are a filter. They're meant to just clean up that noise. Now, they're also really important from the other side of the, of the spectrum where we're going to backfeed from our SCRs. So our SCRs in a drive assembly create a lot of uh, static noise or electrical noise themselves, which can try to backfeed into the grid. We don't want that to happen. So in that same way that we don't want noise going out of the drive and we don't want it coming in the drive, this filter in the middle can uh, allow us to do that. And this doesn't matter whether it's this is a uh, serviceable drive package or whether this is a disposable like what a Danfoss or ABB produce where you just you install it it goes bad you throw it away you put a new one in all of these drives will have some level of these filters and in, in involved in them or installed in them even if it's just internal to where you can't visually see it with your eyes these filters exist in the system and it's just important to have a basic understanding of what they are and what they're doing they're very easy to troubleshoot. They should not have any kind of continuity to ground. So just keep that in mind. If you do have one that is showing to ground, then you've got a, a short in that electrical insulation. That's a problem. They shouldn't have connection to each other. Those are just some things to look out for and be monitoring of. Other than that, they're very basic components. There's no need to be worried about them. And they're not transformers. They're filters. With that, I'm Holden Schamberger. I'm with Chiller Academy and HVAC Time really like to give you a much better chiller education and help you understand these things at a much deeper level and help you walk through your process inside of my chiller community in the academy. If you're interested in that, go check out Introduction to Chiller's course. I think it could really help you. And otherwise, MTT, make the time for your family, for your spouse, and for your kids. They really, really need you. Appreciate it.